morning everybody as you can tell I look a little tired um, just want to say hello to everyone it's Chaz the Alabama Redfish Wrangler I it's about 6 30 but I've been up since about 5 30 the Sun's just now kind of peeking up um, and we're gonna do some fishing today from the kayak so we've got a falling tide this morning um, and so hopefully that'll be pushing some of that bait out past those points and those fish will be hanging out there. First thing I'm going to be trying, um, I've got two rods that I brought with me. Um, I uh, threw matrix shad actually on both rods. Um, I've got this like silver flake matrix shad and then I've got my favorite colored matrix shad shrimp creole got it on there as well. Overall, I'm just looking to have a good morning on the water. Um, I'm about five minutes from the spot right now, and so I will see you guys out on the water. Look at my paddle sliding around back there. See you guys on the water. All right, guys. This morning, the conditions are absolutely amazing. I'm, like, so pumped about this. There's no wind out here at all, and... I'm the only one at the boat ramp, probably because it's 45 degrees out here. I want to get on some trout this morning. I would love to pick up a redfish though, either way. But we're definitely going to give it the old college try. I know that. There we go. There's a fish. There's multiple fish here. I could tell it. I knew it when I saw it. <laughs> Alright, this guy's just gonna take me for a ride, clearly. <laughs> Take me for a ride, baby. Let's see if we can get a couple more of them. This feels like a bigger redfish. Gotta get my net ready. Always keep tension on your line, no matter what. He wants to run again, so we'll let him run. Going and going and going. He really wants to go. Alright, stop. We'll get tired eventually. Come on. He's a runner, man. Still haven't seen this fish yet. But I know it's a red. I can tell it's a red. Come on, man. Get up here. Of course, I am using a lighter rod. I can. He just doesn't want to come up, man. It's okay. We'll let him. Do his thing. I don't want to horse him. He wants to go back behind the boat. Let him go back behind the boat. As you can tell, he's literally turning me. Don't go under the boat, though. That's what we don't want. Gosh, this is a strong fish.
he just doesn't want to stop. This is what I love about catching redfish. I mean, they just have <laughs> so much fucking power. It's unreal. Just let him take me for a ride until he gets tired. Which he's taking me for a pretty good ride so far. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, come on, big boy. Let's get you out of here. We'll get you off. I don't want him to go under my boat. I mean, he's just taking me for a ride. I'm literally, like, I don't even need a trolling motor. I just need this redfish to pull me around all day. Oh, I'm starting to see leader. Alright, that means we're getting closer here. He just doesn't want to come up yet. Oh, he's big. He's a big redfish. He's beautiful. Oh my goodness, he's beautiful. huge. Nope, don't go under the boat. Just calm yourself down. Okay. I'm gonna release you. You're way too big. Way too big. Here we go, guys. You ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Baby, look at that red fish. He is a hoss. You wanted that matrix shad, didn't you, Bubba? Jeez, I'm telling you, this is at least. I don't know how much he weighs, but he is huge. He is freaking huge, dude. All right. That was awesome. There we go. All right. As you can see, this is what I caught him on. <laughs> One last. One last good look at this fish before I let him go. He needs to go back into the water. He's all tickled up in the line, but that's good to go. Alright, there he is. Beautiful redfish. Beautiful red. Beautiful redfish. Let's get a good picture of that tail. Look at that. Alright, he's ready to go back. Thank you, buddy, for the great fight. 
Um, what I'm gonna do is grab him by his tail. I'll release my fish grips here. Kind of swim him back and forth. And he'll let me know when he's ready. So there he goes. <laughs> that was awesome. That's what it's all about right there, guys. That is what it's all about. Catching big redfish like that, I could do it all day long. All day long. That boy took me for a ride, man. He wasn't playing around. Matrix Shad. Check that out. That's what he hit right there. So, I'm telling you, the lighter colors lately, they've been on them. They have been freaking on them. And, oh my gosh, that was so awesome. Alright, now it's time to go back and get another one. Got a fish on. Nice little trout. Perfect. Good size. There he is. Oh yeah, he's going in the box. He is going in the box. Once again, got him on the Matrix shed. All right, guys, I'm back off the water. What an awesome trip. Put that big old bull red on the probably the second cast and I mean he pulled me and pulled me and pulled me I he took out so much drag that I was checking my reel to make sure that I had enough line left still on there because I was afraid he was gonna spool me but he was just thick I mean just um, just heavy I'm talking 35 40 pound redfish easily um, <clears throat> after that, clouds kind of came in and, um, started to, uh, you know, they started to die down just a little bit. Um, wind started to pick up a little bit. And so I started working my way back, um, into a little bit of deeper water. The whole morning I was throwing a matrix shed. Um, and, uh, I, uh, managed to snag a, a, a good keeper trout caught another trout um but he popped off right at the boat um unfortunately so but at least i have dinner for tonight of course that redfish was way too big to keep um but i just wanted to uh give you guys kind of a recap on how the morning went the conditions were hit and miss i mean it was like at first it was nice and sunny, everything was completely calm, and the wind picked up really good. And then towards the end, when I was about to leave, it, it started to be sunny and, and, uh, and kind of normal again. Still a little bit windy. But, um, great morning. Love catching big bull reds like that. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, um, do another video here soon. Um, try to focus mainly on speckled trout going to try a different area on the other side of the bay that's really productive for trout um, but other than that great morning thank you guys so much for watching please hit that subscribe button i just passed 100 subscribers so i'm super stoked about that um and uh if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it so somebody else can see i'm on instagram my username is Alabama Redfish Wrangler. Um, you can go on there, check out some of my photos, things like that. I'm doing some giveaways. I just did a giveaway 
uh, for some Alabama Redfish Wrangler stickers. So got a lot of cool things in the works um, and uh, getting getting some specifics worked out as far as uh, the pricing and uh, stuff for the the kayak um, charters. So hopefully by springtime we'll we'll have a good setup. Um, worked out to where um, if you guys want to go out on a charter with me we can we can make that happen and uh, get you on some big fish like you saw in the video today but thanks for watching please hit that subscribe button and thanks so much y'all y'all have a good day and signing off see ya